left the hostel of Maine this morning and now we're hiking our last set of 4Ks until Katahdin. Yes. These are the Bigelows that we're doing today. Yes, can you believe it? Um, like we're gonna wake up tomorrow and we won't have a mountain to climb. Well, doesn't no. Doesn't make any sense. That's not true. We, when we get to the 100 mile wilderness, we have mountains, but they're not 4Ks. I'm just talking about tomorrow. Oh. Like there's actually gonna be a day where we don't wake up and there's a mountain oh, yeah. to climb that day. Oh. Um, our um, clothes didn't dry all the way. Uh, they Most of them did, but like some things are still wet, so that was a bummer. But we have a really beautiful set of days forecasted, like mid 60s, high 60s, low 70s during the day and I think not freezing at night, so. Yeah, more beautiful Maine. Yeah, and somebody Slowly told us. transitioning into winter. And somebody told us that um, peak foliage here in Maine is like this. October 14th? October 12th, 12th. But it's maybe a little early this year. And we're trying to summit the week of like the 6th, 7th, 8th, somewhere around there. So, I can't believe it gets better than this. Like, this isn't peak. I know. You can't see it. The, vi the video footage doesn't do it justice, but it's awesome out here. Yeah, like right now I see three trees next to each other. One's yellow, one's red, and one's orange. And then there's green also. Yeah, yeah rainbow tunnel, baby. Um, Way better than the green tunnel. I don't think, I don't think I have anything else to say. Oh, oh. Do you? No, I guess not. Uh, hmm. Just excited about this being the last mountain for a while. Yeah. We're going to be seeing well, our families having... really soon. Yeah. It's been so long. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, well, a lot of changes back home. We don't even know what they are, really. Oh, 16 more miles to go today, so we gotta... Get to getting. Yeah, I gotta get to getting. See ya.